Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the new ColourPop slash Soul. I, you know, it's just like a, a brand that they've come out with. Oh, this is upside down. The Gradual Sunless Tanning Lotion. I wanted to test this out. I have the shade Fair to Light. I wanted to see if this worked. Okay, you guys, I am a fair person, look at me. And I wanted to see if I could get this to work for me. I tried a few like tanning lotions in the past. I like them when they're on. I don't like the process of applying them, getting rid of them, exfoliating, having it be super uneven. I'm just not a fan. So like, I feel like I'd just rather not. And so, but when I saw this, I was like, maybe I could just apply this like as an everyday body moisturizer and it would just do its job that way and not even have to do the mitt and the exfoliate, it's just a whole thing. So I thought this was a super easy way to do the sunless tanning thing. But before we hop into the video, be sure to give this one a thumbs up if you're enjoying while you're watching and be sure to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So this is the Soul Body Gradual Sunless Tanning Lotion. This has 198.5 grams or seven ounces of product in here. This is what the box looks like when it comes in and this is the actual product. I'm actually on day two, so I wanna do like a before and after kind of thing and I will take this off so you can get an idea of what my body looks like. I saw literally zero change on day one. I just didn't see anything. I look the same. I feel like I still kind of look the same. <laughs> like I have applied this mainly to my arms, to my shoulders, to my legs. I'm not gonna do every on my body because I just don't, I feel like if I used all of this, it just, it would be a waste of money. But this is $16, I have the shade Fair to Light. And online it says, tan but made easy. This hydrating daily lotion builds a gradual, natural looking tan for sun-kissed bronze skin any time of the year. It basically says it's the easiest tan you'll ever get, low maintenance, creates a gradual tan. It will develop over several days of continuous use, whether you're starting from scratch or trying to maintain your tan. So it says it's a richly nourishing but never greasy, fast absorbing lotion, has coconut, oregon, and marula oils for soft and healthy skin. It smells like a coconut tropical dream is what it says. It's available in two shades. I wouldn't say it smells like a tropical dream. I definitely smell this on my skin for the first couple hours that I apply this. I would say now the scent has died down, but when I first apply this in the morning after I get out of the shower, it is so intense, you guys. It's just a lot. And so I kind of have to like put like a hoodie on and some pants just to get rid of the smell because it, it is overpowering. But I just wanted to see if this was like gonna be a easier way to get a tan. And maybe I'm just too light, I don't know. This is day two. Hopefully this is like picking up normal on camera. That's what body looks like. This is what this arm looks like. I mean, I do see like maybe just a little bit of a tan. It is not much though. And I'm, like I said, I have applied it. I applied it yesterday for the first time. Saw no difference. Applied it today. Haven't seen a whole lot of difference. I have applied it to this area of my chest. Maybe I shouldn't have because it has coconut oil in it and my skin is not a fan of coconut oil. I do think that like maybe I see just like a little bit. I'm gonna take you guys throughout this process. I'm gonna check in over the next few days. Let's see if this tan gets decent. It, um, it says for best results, use as your daily lotion for a flawless natural looking tan. You have to wait until the lotion absorbs before getting dressed. I will say it's real awkward staying in there buck naked while this sinks in. <laughs> and even after like 20 minutes, it's still not completely sunk in. And it says color will develop with repeated use over several days. For best results, exfoliate prior to initial use, which I did. We'll see what several days is. Is that four? Is that five? I don't know. I want to take you guys with me throughout the process, see if this thing actually works and see if someone like me, who is a very low maintenance person when it comes to this, I'm just, I cannot be bothered with this, with the whole sunless tanning thing. But I do like having like a glow on my skin and like looking like I got back from the beach, even though I hate the beach and it is October. So I don't know why I'm testing into this out at this time of year, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and jump through the next couple days. Let's see how the tan develops, if it does. And then I will give you my final thoughts on this product after I've used it for four or five days. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am back. It is the 
fifth day that I have applied this guy. I wanted to show you how my body was looking. That sounded weird, how my body is looking, but I wanted to show you guys how this looked on my skin after using it for five days. It does say to use this several days in a row. I feel like five would should be enough to build up a decent tan. Mind you, I started from nothing. So here's what the body is looking like. So here's my arm. My legs are the same color as my arms. Here's what my body looks like. This is five days worth of applying this product. And I gotta say, I, I see the tan. And maybe it's because I got the light to fair, like fair to light shade that it's not going to show super, super dark or anything. But I think that this is kind of like at the most that it would build up to, I think I'm kind of there. The process of applying this was kind of annoying because after you had applied this, it smells pretty strong of like this fake coconut tanning scent. And then you have to stand there and it says like, wait for your skin to absorb it. And I did that many times, but every time I would get dressed after that, my, my clothes would smell like this and it would feel like you know, this is soaking onto my clothes. I haven't checked my clothes to see if this is actually stained, but after I have put clothes on and then smelled them the next day after wearing this, it definitely still smelled like this lotion. So I think that that's something to keep in mind when you're using this as your daily lotion, that your clothes are going to smell like this lotion. So if you don't mind the scent, that's great. If you do, that's kind of an issue. So I have used it for five days and I have this much product left in the tube. I think I've used like this much. Five days worth of this. I think that this would go pretty dang fast if you use it as your everyday moisturizer. And it is a little bit more expensive than I would normally pay for a moisturizer body lotion anyway. I see myself using this for like a week before I go on vacation. Something that gives me like just a little bit of color that's not crazy and that's not a like a tanning bed and that's not, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence of like if this is worth it versus just doing a one-time tanning lotion, like you apply it, it's a two hour dark type of thing. I think it's like Vita Liberata. I don't remember the tanning brands. I, I, like I said, I don't know anything about this, but so I'm trying to figure out like if it's, if I would go with this or something like that. I do think that the ease of applying this is pretty good. Like it is very easy to apply this on and like get a pretty even tan. I didn't have any problems with it looking patchy or like anything like that. I did feel like it applied pretty evenly. I've only exfoliated once at the very beginning of this whole thing. I exfoliated on the first day that I applied it. I don't know how this would look if I continued to apply it and I didn't exfoliate every week. It did say also to wash my hands. So I did wash my hands, but I noticed that my hands don't get dark like the rest of my body does because it tells you to wash your hands after you apply it. Maybe I should have just focused it like here and not on the top of my hand. Maybe that would have been better. I would say for the ease of it, I would, I would recommend this for like first time tanning lotion people. If you do not know how to use a tanning lotion or you're scared of it, this would be a very good way to test it out and not have it look so incredibly dark or like you made a mistake or it's patchy. You know, it's very intimidating to like when you're not an avid user of tanning lotions and stuff to be kind of intimidated by applying that stuff because it is, it can be so drastic of a change from before to when you apply it and you wanna make sure that it's even and you applied the same amount of lotion on your legs versus your arms or in this section of your arm versus this section. So you get a little bit more, I think, picky when you're doing something like that. This, you can just like slather it on, take roughly the same amount for each section don't have to worry about it like if you miss a spot that it would be like this huge chunk on your arm that looks weird so I do really like that I would say if you're a beginner this would definitely be the way to go I just don't know if you should count on it being a super intense tan you know like it's not like I looked like I got back from the beach but I did I do look a little bit darker than when I started so yeah I would say overall my thoughts are pretty positive with this product there's just like pros and cons about it like you you kind of have to stick with that scent and that scent can kind of get in my head and like 
give me a headache after a while. So to use this every day and go through the process every single day, I would not use this every day, but I do see myself using it if I were to go on a trip and I just wanted a little bit of color to my skin. And in terms of like using this versus a regular tanning lotion that like does, you know, darker than this in like a few hours, I would go this route because it's more gradual. You don't have to worry about like your body looking crazy or you missed, like I said, you missed a spot. That's like really on my brain whenever I'm doing stuff like that. But I thought that this application was pretty easy. I was able to use it and it looks pretty decent. I am curious though, like how this would compare to something like the Jergens like gradual moisturizer. That's like a tanning lotion too, kind of like this, which is so much cheaper than this. I would be curious, maybe I can do like a comparison video in the future. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys have tried this product, let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts? I love you guys so much. I hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you guys in a minute next video. Bye.